Hello Internet, my name is CompuCat, and on behalf of the For The Users dev team, we have got something phenomenal to show you today. What you are about to see is the result of endless hours of hard work. We have poured everything we've got into this, and with a little bit of good luck, and the unfortunate death of a dear friend, rest in peace little Wii U, our efforts have finally come to success. So, if you see my name in the Wii U scene, it's probably been as one of the developers of Linux Wii U, which is a project to give the Wii U a full-blown port of the Linux kernel. Yes, the Linux kernel. When, while that was a smashing success, we wondered if we couldn't go a little further. After all, why stop at just one operating system when you could port two? So, I pulled in fellow Linux Wii U developer RW, and homebrew hacker extraordinaire Vigimus, and we brought our heads together to decide our next target and it came to me. When you look at the hardware, the heart of the Wii U is really is just a PowerPC 750 on steroids. In other words, a massively souped up PowerPC G3. And what was the OS of choice when the G3 went into in its prime? You guessed it, Mac OS X, or Mac OS X, depending on how you like to call it. Let's cut to our capture rig here. Going to transition here. And what you are looking at right now is a blank signal. This is a live capture of my old faithful Wii U's HDMI output right now. Let's get things ready and then we can boot it up. So, I'm going to grab the camera here. I've got to, let's get our respective means on plus. I have here one SD card with a bootloader, one, one 120 gig SD, excuse me, USB with my root file system, and a wireless mouse. So, we have the Wii U down there. Let's get the SD card. I am operating this one handed because I have to hold the camera, excuse the shape. You have the USB. Load that in there. Get in there. And we're going to pop the bottom off of this. Or pop the top, excuse me. And grab our little USB adapter. Get the dongle in there. There we are. We are ready to go. Let's seal the top back on there. And let's fire up the Wii U. I said fire up the Wii. There you go. And just because I know there are going to be people doubting this, here's the gamepad. I'm going to show this on screen as we are booting up. And you'll be able to see that, yes, this is the same signal that you're seeing. Nintendo Wii U. There we go. And here we are. Now we are in CBHC. Put that back up there. So we're going to actually head down and boot the homebrew launcher this time, not boot a firmware.image like you usually would for Linux Loader. So what's actually happening here is we found a method to interface with the Wii U's native bootloader, and we actually got it to talk nicely with OS X. So all I have to do here is I have my trusty old ThinkPad, and I'm going to reload the our fresh exploit over right now. Loading over, there's my IP if you really care. And with a little bit of luck, there we go! We have Mac OS X. And this isn't just a screenshot for those of you who are wondering, because I know there will be people who wonder. This does actually work, and now you'll notice there is crazy graphical corruption going on. Now, Linux Wii U users are all too familiar with the struggle to get graphics drivers working for OS, for, uh, excuse me, for Linux. So porting over Mac Heck drivers was, a, it's a wonder we got it working at all. But work it does. And we can go over, we can boot up whatever apps we want, we can get QuickTime. iTunes doesn't work because I don't have QuickTime installed on you. I don't have the right version of QuickTime installed. But QuickTime boots up. I even have 10.4 Fox, which is a, a port of Firefox to older PowerPC versions. So, that's booting up. And that's gonna take a while, and while we're, well, that's booting up, I'm gonna give my little outro spiel here. So, work it does. Once again, thank you, massive thanks to RW and VG Moose for all of their hard work on this. And we're just gonna clean things up a little bit, and then we'll have our full source code available for release shortly. And until then, I've been CompuCat of the 4 the Uses dev team, and I will see you all soon.